What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So I thought I'd just put out a quick video on my thoughts on the uh, Virgil van Dijk transfer. So it is essentially the talk of the town in terms of the footballing world. Um, a lot of people have been questioning the fee. So as we all know, the fee was was around about £75 million. I think it's £60 million and then £15 million in add-ons and clauses, etc. So overall, it's going to reach up to about £75 million. Um, but um, the question is, the main question is, is he worth it? Recently, people like Mourinho have come out and stated that he doesn't believe that Virgil van Dijk is certainly worth that amount that Liverpool ended up paying for. So just a quick talking point from my own point of view in terms of what I actually think about this particular transfer. So I believe that Liverpool shot themselves in the foot. Simple fact. And the reason for this is based on the fact that in the summer they had an opportunity to sign Virgil van Dijk. Um, but at the point at that time, the fee was reported to be roughly around the £50 million mark. So they've obviously ended up paying £15 million more. Which, in my opinion, I believe that is worth less than the £75 million pound that they're going to end up paying for the defender himself. So I believe they've essentially shot themselves in the foot. However, they have actually obtained a very, very good defender. Uh, I believe he's a fantastic, fantastic player. Uh, I started watching him or noticing him when he was actually at Celtic. And uh, at that point, he was really, really outstanding. Obviously, we know that the level of the Scottish League is not compared, uh, cannot be compared with the level of football within the Premier League itself. Uh, but when he moved to Southampton, he did certainly prove that he was a top-class defender. He obviously found his way into the Netherlands team as well at that point people were actually starting to pay attention to this particular player so in terms of him being a decent defender yes I agree he certainly um, he certainly showed his worth whilst he was at Southampton but there are some key points in terms of the sulkiness whilst he was at Southampton in the summer. He was sulky and he was obviously banished to train with the kids so he ended up doing that He's also obviously made roughly about 63, 64 appearances for Southampton. He's picked up roughly about one red card during that duration. So he's, he's quite a clean defender and um, his, his stats do speak for themselves. Unfortunately, I'm recording this on my phone, so I can't really plug the stats in on the screen. But his, starts, uh, his stats certainly speak for themselves. Uh, when he's playing, his team certainly performs absolutely fantastically well. But I don't believe that he's worth that £75 million based on the fact that Liverpool messed up in the summer. They ended up having to pay slightly a bit more than they should have actually paid for the defender. And uh, this was a way for Southampton to actually basically slap Liverpool on the wrist. Um, they obviously didn't want to take it further in terms of actually reporting the matter to the Premier League themselves. Obviously, they were tapping up the player prior to an official approach being made. So Southampton obviously ended up giving in for £75 million fee. We all know that Southampton are a selling club. They do tend to sell a lot of their players. Um, we know when Yama left, uh, Van Dijk left. Uh, in the past, they had the likes of Oxley chamberlain Theo Walcott. So a number of players have certainly left their, um, their club. In terms of players or the team, they were, so, were certainly trying to construct, but they are certainly very, very good at actually recovering and actually getting similar players to come in and actually replace these kind of players. So I was listening to the Southampton manager talk as well recently. He did also state that they certainly do have a replacement in place already. So we'll certainly be expecting some movement activity in a transfer window from Southampton in regards to getting in another centre-back. So he's obviously 26 years old. He's still got a number of years left within him. We do know that Liverpool do need him at the back uh, in terms of their defence. Their defence is poor. It's very similar to ours at Arsenal. Um, and uh, he will certainly go in and actually make a huge contribution in my opinion another talking point in regards to this transfer why didn't Arsenal sign him why didn't Arsenal go for him? We know that his, um, his intended or his, um, his preferred destination was certainly Liverpool due to the contact that was made in the summer. But why couldn't we go in with a last minute bid? Um, I'm sure Wenger and his compatriots around him who certainly um, managed the transfers within the club would have been aware um, of the interest that Liverpool had up until this particular point. We certainly need a defender, but we do know that our manager won't go out and spend such amounts of money. But it always still remains the question is, when are we going to get world-class players? Of course, Van Dijk hasn't proved that he's world-class as such, but based on the fee, based on what he's done in the past, certainly leading and leaning towards that side of things. So please do let me know what you think on this Van Dijk transfer in terms of 
did Arsenal actually miss out on a good player or he's a terrible player in your opinion as an Arsenal fan or a Liverpool fan if you like and is he worth that £75 million fee that has certainly been paid for him? So as usual, guys, please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are watching this video, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.